welcome back to my channel. So, really quickly, um, I had discussed on here that I felt like Selena Gomez's fans were problematic in the way that they attacked Hailey Bieber. You know, really based on speculation, you know, based on just common gesture. It wasn't even based on hard evidence. And um, I think that the internet is a very cruel place. Bullying, trolling, it happens so much more these days. It's so easy to just rest behind an anonymous profile. And I posted a, a, a video on my channel and I said, hey, you know, we don't own these people. Just because they're celebrities and they have public personas doesn't mean that we have the right to go after them. Doesn't mean that we have the right to play detective. Um, and I, I think I said in that video, like, somebody's going to get hurt. And somebody's gotten hurt. And Hailey Bieber is having, apparently she's having um, some difficulties handling it all emotionally. And it does not surprise me. So let's look at this article from Elle. It says, how Justin Bieber is privately supporting Hailey Bieber through her emotional struggles. So let's read this together. It says, the last three months have been controversial, have been controversial ones for Hailey Bieber, who was harassed pretty severely online after being accused of mocking her husband, Justin Bieber's ex-girlfriend, Selena Gomez, in a TikTok. And again, you hear that word, accused. Like, accused. There's not even anything really proven. She was accused of it. And people take that and run with it, and it's not fair. It's not justice. It's not even ethical on a human level I mean this is these are this is a human being and their marriage and the whole peanut gallery of the world is getting involved it just it's not right it goes on to say this has reportedly created some challenges at home as Haley struggles with her uh, mental and emotional health I called it I knew that was gonna happen and I am fairly certain there's probably a lot of Selena Gomez super fans out there who probably have some toxicity in the way that they kind of are fans of Selena Gomez, they're probably just laughing their butts off because this is what they wanted. It's not healthy. A source talking to US Weekly says that Justin is backing her up, which I knew that was going to happen. You know, like people are like, oh, Justin Bieber's not backing. Get out of people's marriage. This is not your marriage. Get out of people's marriage. It's none of your business. So it says, it breaks Justin's heart to ha have seen Haley struggling emotionally the way she has been these past few months. Reminds me exactly of Britney Spears. You saw my recent video on Britney Spears. It's uncool to be happy right now, okay? People see Britney Spears with Sam Asghari. I haven't seen any proofs yet to make me think that this guy is like beating her, holding her in hostage in the background, saying, sign this paper that says I'm your, your chef and your fitness trainer. I don't see that. I see someone who, who got a second chance at love, but yet people online are like, I really don't trust Sam Asghari. I don't know what it is, but there's something about him. It's like, dude, don't do that. Don't do that. You know? And what happened? Like a few months Six, to, six months to a year after Britney Spears is freed from her conservatorship, she can't even enjoy it because of crass speculation, which slowly and exponentially just grows into this monster that turns into cyberbullying. People don't want you to be happy today. I don't, I don't see any contrary to it yet. You know, if you feel like you have the moral high ground to judge people, I really would like to see your badge that names you as Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior. Um, it says he loves his wife more than anything and knows she has a heart of gold. They added Justin knows her truth and despite what some people may say or think, he knows she only wants the best for people and has the best intentions. Justin knows that this, that life is all about the ups and downs and he knows she'll get through this, but it's been difficult seeing her upset and all he can do is be by her side and be there for her no matter what. It goes on to say on Wednesday, April 19th, Haley shared some, some of what she's going through with her followers on Instagram stories. She says, I like to make jokes about how I feel because sometimes it's easier than admitting I'm having a hard time. Girl, sometimes you just gotta, you gotta laugh instead of cry. I know how you feel. The Road founder wrote, 
But truthfully, since 2023 started, I have had some of the saddest, hardest moments I've ever had in my adult life. And my mind and emotions have been fragile, to say the least. And I know so many other people feel the same way. So just know you're not alone. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to skip down a little bit. It says in March 20, uh, March 2022, Haley, Haley says she suffered stroke-like symptoms and had to be hospitalized. She had an ovarian cyst. Jesus. Um, yeah. And I know that Justin has his, his, um, Ramsey Hunt syndrome. So the, I, I can see them going through a lot right now. And then it, I'm going to skip down. It, said, it looks like uh, Selena Gomez also put out a statement on her Instagram story replying to what Haley has been going through. And Selena said, Haley Bieber reached out to me and let me know that she has been receiving death threats and such hateful negativity. Gomez wrote via her Instagram story, this isn't what I stand for. No one should have to experience hate or bullying. I've always advocated for kindness and really want this to all stop. So, um, yeah, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. I think in general right now, we're in a very, very tough time in society where cyberbullying, death threats, things like that, so easy to just press in like that over the, the internet. But these people are, are obsessive. They, they have, um issues with these people that go deeper something else is going on and so I feel like my challenge out there to you the viewer would be to even though you might your heart might be in the right place and your intentions might be totally fine before and I'm not talking about the extreme stuff like the death threats and all that stuff just saying something as simple as oh yeah well Haley Bieber she's a snob you know she's such a snob or she's she's a stalker she's always stopped 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 uh, Justin from the beginning instead of doing that pause it's like stop drop and roll it's like think before you do that because there might be people out there who are not as mentally sound as you who are gonna see what you're doing take that and roll with it okay and what happens is just get, it just gets perpetuated in society it's happening so much right now I'm hopeful that it's gonna change for the future because like I said in a recent video, we like to think that social media has been around forever, but it's quite rudimentary. I mean, it's quite new. So I think I, I am hopeful. I'm hopeful for that nugget of humanity and truth and compassion that we have amongst us humans. You know, I was looking at a video yesterday about Neanderthals and these people didn't even really have a language. They communicated in grunts, but based on some graves and, and fossils, we can see that they honored their dead. They put some prized possessions in there. They put flowers around the site, you know. We as human beings are communal creatures. So if you were about to say, oh, Haley Bieber's a snob, you know, she's a stalker. Before you do that, just maybe think. So, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. If you're new to this channel, please go ahead, click the like, subscribe button, hit the bell so you know whenever I post video, and I'll see you next time. Okay.